Nicholas Vivian Howard Mallet was born in England in 1956, but moved to then Rhodesia when he was only six weeks old. When his father Tony was appointed headmaster of bishops in 1963, he obviously became a Cape Tonian. To avoid a conflict of interest, he went to boarding school at St Andrews in Grahamstown, where he flourished as a sportsman, especially in rugby and cricket. While at the University of Cape Town, where he did a BA in English and History, he was selected to play rugby for Western Province, and so started an illustrious career of playing and coaching the great game at the highest level. Using that heavy pack, Mallet is going to try and barge his way through. Out it goes, down to Carlo Di Placido. The Carlo Stolz, is it a forward pass? Wait for it. Neil Berger, Neil Berger is going. It wasn't a forward pass and it's a try by Neil Berger. In 1979, Nick furthered his studies at Oxford University in England, where he was awarded blues for both rugby and cricket. Incidentally, he once hit three sixes in an over off the great Ian Botham. When he returned to Cape Town in 1982, he helped Western Province to four consecutive Curry Cup titles as an energetic, industrious and inspirational eighth man. John and Neil Berger, but Urkhan. A prachtige drie der hier die jong rechterpleel van die beste provincie wat met kracht oorgegaan het. This golden period of his playing career resulted in selection for the Springboks against the South American Jaguars in 1984. the quarter line, no, no out to Nick Mallet. Mallet is still hard up. He gives the ball to but the angel has lost to Michael Duplessis. What is told by Danny Gerber. Hij komt uit naar zijn Afrikaanse kant toe, weer Michal Duplessis, wat hier trap en daar trap. Het is Rob Lowe en hij moet worden gaan in de om. Rob Lowe, wat die eerste punt aanteken. In this attacking position, that's Nick Mallet. There's a try line just behind them. Ure taps back, Dendra going quick, and the Springboks dive into the try. It's a try for the South Africa, either Rob Lowe or Mallet. I think it's Nick Mallet who got it. Nick Mallet, delirious with delight. Yes, Nick Mallet. Former University of Cape Town and Oxford University player. His first test and he scored a try. What could be better than that? Nick's international career was arguably cut short when in 1985 he went to France, where he played and coached for seven years. In 1984 he made his presence felt at False Bay Rugby Club before taking over as head coach of the Boerland Cavaliers, leading to his appointment as assistant coach of the Springboks in 1996, before succeeding Carl Duplessis in 1997. His three-year tenure saw the Springboks win 27 out of 38 test matches, making him arguably the most successful coach ever especially taking into account a record-winning streak of 17 consecutive tests. James Small, James Hayes got support from Swanepoel and he's going to dance his way through. It's all over now. And the best is in Honeyball. Oh, big gift! Peter Rousseau! Can Peter Miller do something with it? Well, snyman has got it. Montgomery. As part of that unbeaten run, the Springboks won the Tri-Nation series against the New Zealand All Blacks and the Australian Wallabies. It came after the Springboks had laid siege to the Aussie line. And what a wonderful dummy from a player who'll surely grace next year's World Cup. 
But this was an impressive victory from a side who must now have every chance of retaining their world crown. The Springboks also defeated several teams by record margins. 52-10 against France in Paris. And now it's to Yanni De Pierre, the new man inside to Percy. Now it's Hanya Hannibal, South Africa playing games with the French here as Yanni De Pierre gets it to Henry Hannibal. First test try ever. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stuff. And Nick Mallet is over the moon. Look at that, Nick Mallet. Well done. 68-10 versus Scotland at Murrayfield in Edinburgh. There he goes, this great big fellow. And it could be a try for James Small. And that equals the South African record of tries. James Small, a brilliant score. His 19th try for South Africa. 33-0 was the margin over Ireland. And this is a chance here as they get it away. It's Yuri Erasmus. Erasmus got the touchdown. And what about the 96-13 hammering of Wales? And Nick Mallet is on his feet. The incredible run ended against England at Twickenham on the 5th of December 1998 after a long and arduous tour. Mallet moved back to France as coach for the Paris club Stade Francais, which he led to two consecutive French domestic title wins in 2003 and 2004, before returning to South Africa, where he accepted the job of director of rugby at Western Province. In October 2007, Mallet took over as coach of the Italian national rugby team, with mixed fortunes. There's the break, lovely inside ball. Ryan Jones has picked up, he should take that, he scores. Takes that, he scores, and look at that. No wonder he's gone grey. Italy's victory over France in the 2011 RBS Six Nations was arguably their greatest result in the tournament since they joined Europe's rugby elite 11 years earlier. Their perseverance and never-say-die spirit had finally been rewarded. That uh, win by Italy over France was, was right up there. It was uh, an incredible achievement by a team that had been battling. I think it matches anything that I've done as a coach. He also coached the Barbarians to victory against the All Blacks and the Springboks. These days, Nick Mallett is the top TV rugby analyst on Supersport. Our ball skills in South Africa really need a tremendous amount of work. And if I can only make an appeal to schoolboy coaches to please teach guys evasive skills, the ability to time a pass, to straighten, to create space on the outside, to run at a gap, to hit and spin, to try and offload if you're still on your feet, to try and get continuity without getting to a breakdown and without kicking it up and under.